Easter Island is a Chilean island on the southeastern Pacific Ocean, at the southeasternmost point of the Polynesian Triangle. Carbon dating has nearly confirmed the settlement to have taken place between 700 and 1100 CE. The island was most likely populated by Polynesians who navigated in canoes from the Cambier Islands. When the first settlers of Easter Island arrived, they discovered a relatively small volcanic island with very few resources for survival. But against all reason, they decided to stay. No one is exactly sure why they made this decision and seeing how it turned out for them, it would have been a much better idea to have just left altogether. Throughout the history of the civilization, the population would never even hit 10,000. The people of this island developed a strong class system with a high chief. This chief was a descendant of the original founder of the island, Hotu Matu, who was known as Ariki Mao, meaning supreme chief or king. Experts have recently discovered that inhabitants of Easter Island also practiced cannibalism. Considering how scarce the resources were, it's really no surprise that they did. But the Easter Island statues, which were constructed between 1250 and 1500 CE, had to have taken thousands of hours of work. Why would a civilization which was struggling to survive go through so much trouble to construct something so useless? The fact that these people practice cannibalism is not up for debate. But the reason why is. Most people believe it was because of the scarce resources, but nobody really knows for sure. Was it really only for survival? Or was the reason much more sinister than we can imagine?